Go right and play, please. That is smart. That is smart. Yes. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Same distributed each of the town board members. Moved. Second. Councilman Reckenbaum? Yes. Councilman Lundstrom? Yes. Councilman Malarkey? Yes. Supervisor? Yes. Motion of the town board of town adopt a resolution to install permanent traffic control at the intersection of Butterhill Road and State Route 94 as per the attached. Move. Second. Roll call. Councilman Reckenbaum? Yes. Councilman Lundstrom? Yes. Councilman Biasati? Yes. Councilman Malarkey? Yes. Supervisor Green? Yes. Jonathan, motion to Town Board of Town New Winter. <clears throat> Appoint the following members to the Bureau of Fire Prevention. All terms begin immediately. Stephen Sager, Billsgate Fire Company, the Fire Department. Uh, term expires December 31st, 2016. Thomas Johnson, Salisbury Mills Fire District. Term expires December 31st, 2016. Sean McGrath, Passaic uh, Fire District. Term expires December 31st, 2016. And Jennifer Gallagher, uh, civilian member. Term expires December 31st, 2016. Moved. Second. Councilman Reckenbaum? Yes. Councilman Lundstrom? Yes. Councilman Biasati? Yes. Councilman Malarkey? Yes. Supervisor Green? Yes. Motion Town Board of Town Owners adopt the following resolution, whereas the Town Board of Town Owners wishes to appoint Jeffrey Chan, an attorney for the Zoning Board of Appeals pursuant to Town Law, Section 26012 and uh, number 76-53, Opinions of the State Controller, now therefore be resolved that Jeffrey Chan be retained as Zoning Board of Appeal, attorney for the Zoning Board of Appeals for the calendar year 2014. Moved. Second. Roll call. Councilman Regenbaum? Yes. Councilman Lundstrom? Yes. Councilman Biasati? Yes. Councilman Malarkey? Yes. Supervisor Green? Yes. Chair Lentino, Motion Town Board of Town New Windsor, adopt the standard schedule of fees for 2014 as per attached uh, in order to provide for a consolidated schedule of fees and to allow for annual review of modification of fees involving the administration of town ordinances and regulations the town board deems it in the public interest to establish the standard schedule of fees for the town of New Windsor. For the year 2014, the fees is adopted may be viewed in the town clerk's office during normal business hours. Moved. Second. Councilman Regenbaum? Yes. Councilman Lundstrom? Yes. Councilwoman Biasati? Yes. Councilwoman Malarkey? Yes. Supervisor Green? Yes. Hearing no objections, Town Board of Town News receiving file of official statement of $1 million bond anticipation note for refinance and reduction of the previous bond anticipation note for improvements. Of the facilities of the consolidated water district and reconstruction of the new highway garage. Hearing no objections, Town Board of Town New Windsor receiving file. Settlement agreement released between the Town of New Windsor and Avery Dennison Corporation and subsidiaries dated August 22, 2013, and recorded in Orange County Clerk's Office on the 18th day of November 2013, in letter 13679 at page 1148. Hearing no objections, Town Board of Town Windsor receiving file assignment and assumption of lease between the Town of Windsor Stewart FBI LLC and 347 Avenue of Americas LLC dated January 9th, 2014 for premises commonly known as 347 Avenue of the Americas. Hearing no objections, Town Board of Town Windsor receiving file certificate of allocation from Luna Creek Development Limited to RPA Associates LLC for 9,800 gallons uh, per day of uh, sewer capacity. Hearing no objections, Town Board of Town Owners receiving file. 
allocation, uh, certificate of allocation for movement development, uh, limit to RPA Associates LLC for 45,240 gallons per day of sewer capacity. We have no objections. Town Board of Town Owners receive a final decision in the order of matter of Stewart Park Reserve Coalition Incorporated versus the Town of Windsor et al. regarding the joint to line temporary asphalt plan. Okay. Hearing no objections, Town of Windsor receive a final summons and complaint in the matter of Ryan Lee Shaw and George Christina Shaw versus the Town of Windsor et al. and <clears throat> refer same to the attorney, uh, Town Attorney for Defense. Hearing no objections, Town Board of Town of Windsor receive a file. 2013 annual report of the Building Department and Fire Correction Departments. The following reports were received, recorded, and filed with the Town Clerk, Recreation Department, uh, January 2014, Police Department, January 2014, Building Department, January 2014, Tax Receiver, Water, Sewer, and Garbage, January 2014, Monthly Tax Statement, January 2014, Justice Calderon's Report, month, uh, January 2014, Justice Thorpe. Report uh, January 2014. Town Clerk's Report January 2014. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Board? Nope. Nothing. Public Forum. Leo, you beat your wife. You're talking about the Catskill Aqueduct, uh, Catskill. Not, not the, not the Delaware. Uh, yeah. We have so many. You would have to. That's got nothing to do with this board. Our, our tap is alive and well. We uh, now what I want to do with the um, <clears throat> you said about the Hudson River. You had some. Uh, uh, what do you call it? The, Oh, the exploration? Exploration, thank you. Yeah, well, we're, we're, we're moving on up the moon and we're doing very well at this point. We're doing very well. It looks like we have some wells that may be turning in over 700 gallons a minute. Will we get into it at least by 15, 16? Uh, the prediction is uh, probably 2016 they will be completed. We are trying to move it up as quickly as possible. Okay. And the second question is, Item 16, uh, 11. I'm sorry, well, uh, item what? Uh, item number 11, mm -hmm. is in order, Stewart Park to Reserve Coalition, mm -hmm. a reference to the asphalt plant. Yep. Is that in reference to the, uh, the one that be, uh, at the Stewart itself? That, yep. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, through contamination or anything else? There is no contamination. Uh, there was a lot of runoff. Well, there was no runoff. The DC has approved all the permits. They've been out there. They've inspected. Uh, as far as I know, there there is no violations out there, and the judge found uh, no standing. We won that case. All right, thank you. Yes. Yeah, of course. Um, Kathy Braun, I think it's wonderful that that traffic light's going to be permanent on 94. Keep keep our fingers yeah. crossed, okay. Kathy. Okay, I'll go with those too. Uh, the question is, though, are, when is it going to be replaced with having been knocked down? Well, uh, you, you know, Kath, let, let, me just, uh, let me just address that for a minute. We were waiting on the, uh, on the insurance recovery on, on those uh, poles. As, as you, know, you know, we originally paid for the, those two poles to go in with promises from uh, various people that the money was going to be reimbursed. We never did see the reimbursement. Uh, you know, it's kind of a... Kind of, kind of disappointing to us, and it's kind of a precedent setting that a municipality should ever have to pay for uh, temporary lights on a uh, state road. Uh, so, but uh, they've been authorized. Uh, unfortunately, I talked to the uh, the guy that's actually doing the installation, the person that did the original installation, and he has to hand dig those uh, poles back in. 
So um, he's been authorized to do it, uh, hopefully by by the next week if the weather, you know, and, and, you know, depending on the weather. And the state has promised us uh, that as soon as those poles are back up, they'll uh, restring the lights. But, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's sort of precedent setting. I've never heard of a municipality that ever had to pay to put lights up on a state road before. You know, and um, it most certainly does warrant a permanent light there. You know, with the traffic, I've talked to some of the business people down there, and they're very upset. We almost had an accident on Saturday yeah. um, where the light had been. Yep. And fortunately, the guy caught himself before mm -hmm. he shot out. Yeah, we were, we were down, I forget what, what Deb and I were down there, uh, pulling out of one, of one of the driveways down there. And it took us about 10 minutes to get out of the 94 to make a right-hand turn. Yeah. You just can't do it. Absolutely can't do it. But the state is obtuse at best. <laughs> Barney, do you have a question? Yeah. Uh, as for our conversation uh, earlier last week regarding the uh, working on it. modification of yep. the agenda. I'm going to be proposing something to the town board. Okay. Anyone else? Motion to close public forum. Mm -hmm. Second. Roll call. Councilman Regenbaum? Yes. Councilman Lundstrom? Yes. Councilman Biasati? Yes. Councilman Malarkey? Yes. Supervisor Green? Yes. Motion to adjourn. So move. Second. Councilman Regenbaum? Yes. Councilman Lundstrom? Yes. Councilman Biasati? Yes. Councilman Malarkey? Yes. Yes. Everybody be very careful going home. Take a record. Those roads are not nice.